hackers can hijack your networks under five minutes. Don't believe me? Stick around and I'll show you how they do it and how you can protect yourself. But wait, before we jump in, remember, this is for educational purposes only. Unauthorized hacking is both unethical and illegal. Always practice in a safe, legal environment like virtual labs. Welcome back YouTube. Today, we're diving into ARP spoofing, which stands for Address Resolution Protocol, a sneaky trick hackers use to hijack networks. Imagine yourself sitting in a coffee shop, connecting to free Wi-Fi, and thinking you're safe. But in fact, a hacker could intercept your data and spy on everything you're doing. Sounds scary, right? Let's break it down. All right, here is how ARP spoofing works. Your device and the network constantly send ARP messages to keep everything connected. Hackers exploit this process by pretending to be someone they're not, redirecting your data to themselves. So think of it as tricking the postman into delivering your mail to the wrong house. So let's see how they pull it off in action. All right, I've got here Kali Linux set up as the attacker and a Windows virtual machine as a victim or target. So back to our Kali Linux. First, we'll scan the network to find IP addresses of both the target machine and the router. For this, I'll use a simple tool called ARP Scan. So there are endless tools that can discover networks such as Nmap, NetDiscover, and many, many more. So let's run this. sudo ARP Scan dash dash local net. And there you go, it came out with all IP addresses that are on the same network, along with their MAC addresses. Well, this is obviously the gateway, and this is the broadcast address. So we are interested in this IP address. This is the target IP address. But before we run the attack, let's see the ARP table of the target machine. CMD ARP A. So remember, this is the router IP address, which assigned to this specific MAC address. So each time the victim machine needs to send a request to the internet, it directs the request to this MAC address, which is the MAC address of the router. But after the attack, we'll see the attacker MAC address instead of this. This way, all the traffic will pass through the attacker machine, which is our machine, allowing us to literally see everything the victim does on the internet. So let's start the attack back to Linux clear this so let's copy down the IP address that we're interested in and I'll clear the screen now I'll use ARP spoof to trick the Windows machine into thinking I'm the router this lets me intercept and manipulate its traffic sudo as usual ARP spoof dash I for the interface dash T for the target and the gateway, which is 192.168. Your IP address or the victim IP address, because you both are on the same network, and replace the last digit with one. So the gateway is always number one, and the broadcast is 255. All right, let's explain what's going on here. This is the tool name, dash I for interface, dash T for the target IP address, which is this one, and this is the gateway. As I mentioned before, just replace this number with number one that would be your gateway but keep in mind i'm running this attack on my virtual machine net network but you can run this attack on any type of network so now this command will spoof the target telling it i'm the router so instead of him sending the request to the router i'll be the guy who received it but something is missing i have to receive the packet and forward it to the original router. Let's do that. All right, I had to reboot the machine because it was so freezing. So we will retype the same command down here, but this time we have to trick. The target is the gateway, which is the router, and this one will be the target IP address. So right now, we're gonna be telling the router that I'm the victim. So the first one will fold the victim, and the second one will fold the router. So let's give it a try. Oops, we need sudo permission. And same thing here, sudo and run. Password, boom. So now let's see if the attack has been done successfully. Go back to your Windows machine. Do you remember this MAC address? Let's do ARP A. All right, I found out that the gateway is at number two, not number one, and run. Now, if we go back to do our Windows machine and run ARP-A, now we will notice that the MAC address 
has been changed successfully. So before we run the attack, this was the actual MAC address. And now, as you can see, it's been changed to the attacker MAC address, which is this one. That's to say, all the traffic will be going through the attacker's machine, pretending to be the router. And now we can capture everything the victim does on the internet, including sensitive data like login credentials. Yes, let's prove that with Wireshark. Navigate to your Wireshark app. So all we have to do now is start capturing the traffic goes through ETH0. Let's go back to our Windows machine and open a web page and for example, visit facebook.com here in wireshark we can see all the packets coming through if someone logs into a website without https their username and password might pop up right here so scary right oh my god and let me know in the comment below if you want me to cover how to bypass https which means you can see the plain text so now that you know how ARP spoofing works so how do we stay safe and prevent this kind of attacks here are some quick tips always use https website look for the padlock icon on your website use vpn to encrypt all your traffic especially on public wi-fi they are so dangerous enable ARP spoofing detection in your network if available stay smart and stay safe and if you like this video and learn something new leave a like and a comment below and maybe Maybe share it with your friend, why not? See you on the next one.